use that as an excuse. Now, that brings us to the issue of the consulate in Benghazi and the alleged mob that attacked it and ended up killing four Americans because of this film. A lot of people say, "Uh uh-uh, nope, there was a mob there, yes, but about 200 armed men showed up, kind of coincidentally, with RPGs and everything else, and unloaded on the consulate and set it on fire and so forth. Uh, We don't know what happened. This could have been a pre-planned operation for another. There was an assassination recently. Could have been a revenge for that. Something in the in the Arab world. Um, it, the, all the press has to do is say the film is an outrage, and guess what? People go in the streets. That's what people do. So, do we know what really happened? Nope. So, brave Obama sends the Marines there to hunt down the killers, like they're going to actually go into Libya and find the people who are responsible. Like this is, anyway. Like I say, it's just cuckoo. And getting worse. Well, the the excuse that of the film is like another Archduke Ferdinand moment. Thank you. You know, that's the fairy tale they say when you're a little kid. Now, World War One began when they assassinated the that. Archduke Ferdinand at Sarajevo. <laughs> remember his hat? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not how World War One began, no. and this had nothing to do with the film. It had to do with, let's go over and play back the videotape, as they used to say. Mm-hmm. Couldn't Rewind. have anything to do with nah, the United States invading Afghanistan and Iraq and no occupying chance. them. No, it had nothing to do with that. It couldn't have anything to do with all of those drone strikes. You know, those wonderful Terror Tuesdays that Obama has, where he selects suspected militants and they send in predator drones to kill them (laughs) and anybody Mm -hmm. around them of drone-killing age is also meat to get slaughtered. Couldn't be anything about that. That are going into Pakistan, into Yemen, into Somalia. No, 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 no. People love getting blown to pieces with drones and wiping out families. It couldn't have a thing to do with the United States propping up the emir of Bahrain that is slaughtering the Shia population over it. No, he's an emir. Emir's a good guy. Good guy. Couldn't have anything to do with what's going on in Yemen and the slaughter of all those people as the United States has supported the dictatorship of Saleya for over 40 years. No, no, no. And nothing at all to do with that. It has nothing to do with the United States and those other little chicken hawks out there besides Obama, Cameron and Hollande, that little boy over there in France starting war against Syria and destabilize. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do. It has nothing to do in Libya with the United States, with NATO, with that little chicken hawk weenie Cameron and Obama. And Hillary Clinton and Susan Rice, our UN ambassador, and Samantha Power of the of the National Security Agency in the United States, who pushed for the war in Libya and destabilized the entire country. It couldn't have anything to do with hating Americans for that, could it? And 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 turning a country that was the richest country on the African continent into a disaster. No, no, it had nothing. You know why they did it. I'll tell you why. On the same anniversary as 9-11, for the same exact reason. Little boys and girls, they hate our freedom and liberty. They hate our guts. How many martyrs? How many martyrs have we created over there who are willing to die to get oh, even? Only a million safety? in Iraq. That's, That's how right. many people they killed over there. And two million a trillion in Afghanistan. Dollars spent. Yeah, we've killed one, one to two million in Iraq minimum. Uh, probably two, maybe three million in Afghanistan. 
How many other countries have we slaughtered innocents, as Gerald has been pointing out? Obama sits there with his little, his little yellow legal notepad or whatever form they give him, and he's got his five criteria to decide who lives or dies. And then he gives it to the joint chiefs or whomever, and they disseminate it to the little boys and girls sitting in these air-conditioned rooms with their little joysticks and their little video games, life and death video games. That's the name of the game. I'm going to read you a quote. This is from Hillary Clinton. Quote, Today many Americans are asking, indeed I ask myself, how could this happen, referring to the to the killing of the uh, Libyan ambassador. How could this happen in a country? Check it out, man. We helped liberate. Oh, God. In a city we helped save from destruction. Yeah. This question reflects just how complicated and at times how confounding the world can be. This is yesterday. So here's Hillary Clinton, the loudest war hawk in the White House, screeching for the invasion of Libya, a sovereign nation, at peace with the United States, with a mission statement to overthrow its leader, asking herself, how could this happen? You know, Jeff, more appropriately, why wasn't asking if this woman who giggled when we, we, we came, we saw he died, and bounced with glee at Gaddafi's death, why wasn't anyone asking, was this woman actually deranged to mm-hmm. be asking such a stupid question with mm-hmm. such an obvious answer. This yes. is deranged behavior. Oh, the question reflects how complicated and how confounding the world could be? Complicated? This isn't complicated. Maybe it's complicating to a psychopath. It might be. It might be. She is, uh, she is a real piece of work, that uh, creature. But all of them. All of them. I mean Obama. All of them. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're going to, we're going to have swift justice. Oh, you know what the word justice means? That means killing anybody that they think did anything. That's, That's right. justice. It's bringing them democracy. It's liberating them from their earthly bonds of angst and living under the oppressive thumb or jackboot of a dictator. Bring them democracy. Kill them. Free them. Make them happy for eternity. It's true. By the way, this uh, this story got to be interesting early on. Obviously, all of the people over there who work in the consulates are CIA. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it, oh, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's a given. We know Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Sure. Now, Chris Stevens was CIA. We know that. By the way, in the beginning, he was not the ambassador. He was identified as a, a consul or a senior consul official at the Benghazi consulate, the U.S. consulate there. He was very quickly martyred and upgraded to be the ambassador. We didn't have hey, a, why not? a formal ambassador. Oh, well, why not? Exactly. Makes for better press, doesn't it? Not consular member killed, but ambassador killed. So that was changed uh, very early on. There were a number of things changed, and Gerald's points are all eminently well taken. We have created over there literally millions of people who have lost loved ones who each and every one of them would do anything at any time to get even with the great Satan, most especially to kill off a few members of the CIA, which is exactly what those people were.